These candidates, amen, they're going to be coming in order. Glory to God. We have a little mix up, but never mind. Amen. There is two persons, two special. Let me say special because I don't want to be in any trouble. Amen. A new couple just got married just the other day. And he said to me from yesterday that I want my wife to read my profile. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm a little bit and say, but these people mixing up the thing. But you know, when I when I went home this evening, I said, the man, the man saying wanting wife. So who is pastor to tell him say no? Praise the name of the Lord. The man wife. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And also Pastor Grandwife said, I want to read my money money. Profile. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're gonna be having Sister Grant, we're gonna be having Sister Moya. We'll be reading her husband. Sister Grant will be reading for her husband. And who else wanna read for their husband? And you wanna read for your wife? So, so want to read for the wife. But I don't want to you. <laughs> Nisha Howell, we're going to be having Sister Lee Foster and Sister Charlene, along with Sister Moya and Sister Grant. So, Sister Grant, your time. Put your hands together and welcome. Shall we praise the Lord? Wave your hands and praise the Lord. Praise God. The greetings has already gone, so I will just move forward. Life and journey of Benjamin Grant. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. This verse beautifully encapsulates the life and journey of Benjamin Grant, born on February 14, 1974. From his commitment to Christ on December 24, 1995, at the Jericho Bible Way Church, under the leadership of Overseer Wilbert Blackwood, may his soul rest in peace. Pastor Owen Cooper, and Pastor Marcia Rowe, who is now the bishop. These persons have nurtured him to what he is today. From his baptism on March 3, 1996, and being filled with the Holy Ghost on July 17, 1996, Benjamin's life has been a testament to the plans God has for him, those who dedicated their lives to him. His spiritual journey is marked by a profound dedication to service. Benjamin has held numerous roles within the church, including Sunday school teacher, superintendent, youth fellowship secretary, FTA secretary, vice president, men's department secretary, cleaning of the sanctuary, and member of the accounting department. Through these roles, he has touched countless lives with his wisdom, kindness, and unwavering faith. Benjamin's life and Benjamin's leadership and spiritual death were further recognized when he was ordained as an evangelist on March 23rd, 2014. He is calling, lead him to serve an appointed pastor at the Concord Bible Way Church, which is one of the branch churches where his dynamic preaching and heartfelt street ministry renunciate deeply with many. Even after migrating to the Cayman Highlands six months into his pastorship, he continued fervently spreading the gospel. He became a member of the intercessor group and Bible teacher of the young adult ministry at the Christ Cathedral Global Ministry, this present church under the leadership of Bishop Delroy Gale and Pastor Rowan Spencer. Because of his unhealing passion for Christ, alongside his pastoral duties, Benjamin's remained a humble servant, finding joy in the simplest of fasts. His life is a testament to humility, 
perseverance and unwavering love for God and his people. Benjamin's life is equally blessed. He is happily married to a beautiful wife, your truly. <laughs> Which will mark that's the thing that I heard you, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, which will mark 24 years this upcoming July. And that will be the 1st of July. And together they have two beautiful and handsome children, Shanoya and Malachi Grant, who share in his faith and dedication. His journey is not just a narrative of spiritual growth, but a beacon of inspiration, urging those around him to seek a deeper, more profound relationship with Christ. That is who Benjamin Grant is, a devoted, a humble servant of God, one who stands for holiness and righteousness, a loving, faithful husband and father, and an inspirational leader dedicated to spread the love and word of Christ without fear and favor. I thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Ricardo Samuel Hyde, a 33-year-old man of God. He gave his life to God on July of 2013. Since then, he has been blazing the trail for God. Beacon of Hope Baptist Church in Mount Vernon, St. Mary, Jamaica, stand as his training ground under the leadership of Pastor Obadiah Bailey. Recorder has operated in the capacity of youth president and taught in the vocational Bible school from exhortation to preaching, whether it be street meetings or youth meetings or Sunday morning worship. Recorder has brought the word, thus saith the Lord. Under the leadership of Bishop Gale, Pastor Spencer, and the other ministers of the Christ Cathedral Global Ministry Grand Cayman, they have helped Recorder to flourish. This encouragement has led him to enrolled at the Center of Theological Leadership Training. Recorder lives by Proverbs 3, verse, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. With an E. <laughs> I am Gretel Rockcliffe with an E. <laughs> One who Christ rescued out of darkness and into his marvelous light. I've been called to the ministry for over 10 years, and during this time, I've I've had the great pleasure of ministering to God's people on various platforms, both locally and internationally. My aim and determination is to continue pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. May God bless you all. Amen. Ramon, Brother Ramon, Ronaldo Powell. <laughs> Family, yes. <laughs> Born in Lampard District, Frank Field, Clarendon, Jamaica, he accepted Christ at the tender age of 15 years old. He started his Christian journey at the Ebenezer Holiness Church of God in Lentersfield. Lesterfield, sorry. Under the leadership of his father, Pastor Linton Powell. As a pastor's son, Brother Raman received his calling to serve in ministry from the early from early in his Christian walk. 
He moved to Grand Cayman in 2016, where he became a member of the Christ Cathedral Community Worship Center, renamed Christ Cathedral Global Ministry, and was molded and inspired by Bishop Delroy Gale and Pastor Rohan Spencer. He is an anointed praise and worship leader and has served in ministry as youth president and most recently men's assistant president. He is happily married to one wife, only one, and is father, and is a father, sorry, to three beautiful children. He has a passion for God with a zeal and an unwavering dedication to serve in ministry. His favorite verse is Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Raman is strong in his belief that no matter his afflictions, the Lord will most certainly deliver him from them all. Amen. Amen. October 1987 I wonder how old is he? in Shrews <laughs> Shrewsbury district in Portland he arrived on the Cayman Islands in 2018 in March of 2022 he accepted Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior becoming a member of the Christ Cathedral Global Ministries under the leadership of Bishop Delroy Gale and Pastor Spencer one faithful Saturday morning in the year 2003, while in prayer meeting, the Holy Spirit approached him. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And sat upon him Amen. and indwelled him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was recently appointed as the assistant men's president for this said ministry. One of his favorite scriptures of influence is Mark 8, 36, which says, For that... For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Bless the Lord. Good evening, church. With protocol already established, let me say good afternoon and begin the short biography of Barbara Smith. Um, could you please join me here? And I must say that these three ladies that I'm going to be reading for, I've worked closely with them and um, part of me, so I'm happy. Proverbs 31, 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. In the year 1999, Barbara Smith accepted the Lord as her personal Lord and Savior, and was baptized on February, April 4 in Jamaica, and has been walking with the Lord since that beautiful transition. Over the years in her home church, she has led the positions of Sunday School Secretary, and women's president. After migrating to the Cayman Islands, she has assumed the role of women's president. Being in this position, she has grown spiritually and would preach sometimes on Women's Sunday. To fulfill her calling for hurting women, the Breakfast Family Ministry was formed via Zoom under her leadership on January 5, 2021, which is still moving forward. It is a time spent in prayer, worship, and teaching the word of God, which is led between the hours of 4.30 a.m. and 6 a.m. Acts 20.24, 20, which reads, But my life is worth nothing unless I use it for doing the word 
the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about God's wonderful kindness and love serves as an encouragement in her life and ministry. She is now in the final stages of completing her diploma in theological studies with a focus on counseling at the Center of Theological Leadership Training, CTLT. She strives to fulfill the word of God in her life as expressed in John 9, 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. God bless you, minister. Minister Lilla Bradford. My ministry journey began after I was converted and baptized at the Bannister New Testament Church of God in 1974. Since then, my commitment to the work of God was evident in the many roles I played in my church as well as other churches. I was privileged to be a part of and continue to do in the present church. My passion, however, is in the ministry of prayer and intercession, encouragement and edifying fellow believers, and in helping new believers to grow in their faith. In 2010, I felt the call of God in my heart to attend Bible school. After three years, I graduated with a diploma in Biblical Studies and Counseling from the College of Theological Interdisciplinary Studies, St. Catherine, Jamaica. Studies which I have leveraged significantly in ministry. Below is a list of the areas I have served in during the last two and a half decades as a Christian worker and servant for Christ. I managed the New Testament Church, Youth Fellowship President, Minister of the Word, Sunday School Teacher, Trenchtown New Testament Church of God, Children's Ministry President, Team Leader, Evangelical and Shutted Ministry, Young Convert Teacher, Prayer and Fasting Leader, Care Ministry Assistant Leader. At the College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies, I was Assistant Prayer Director for one year. Christ Cathedral Global Ministry, formerly Christ Cathedral Community Worship Center, Minister of the Word, Intercessor, Young Converts Teacher, Prayer and Fasting Leader, Assistant Ladies President, Ladies President. I continue to serve as I am called upon and is com committed as a child of God to serve the church of my Lord whenever and wherever he commissioned me as long as there is life in my body. In Jesus' name. Psalm 139, 5. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Amen. Amen. Roslyn Maureen Johnson. Praise God. At the age of 19, I gave my life to God in St. Elizabeth, New Testament Church of God. Growing up as a young believer, I devoted my life to serving God and my community, particularly taking care of the elderly and children, which then burst a charity that I started for many years until this present time. My journey began with a deep commitment to being a prayer warrior in my community until I was led to the Hope United Church of God in Lauriston, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where I continued to work along with the youth department. As the community group leader, I was then honored to serve as a Sunday school president. Due to my deep commitment to prayer to the Almighty God, I was able to offer comfort and guidance to countless individuals demonstrating the power of God. My late overseer, Michael Lamont, asked to ordain me as a missionary just minutes before his passing on a Saturday morning. It has taken me to various regions where I was able to provide hope and practical assistance in any way that I could. My ministry journey as a missionary has been characterized by faith, 
compassion and a solid commitment to serving God and his people, which later birthed my first book on how God lifted my life through my testimony to young people. I hope my legacy as a missionary will continue to inspire and impact lives as I move forward. God bless you, Minister. Amen. Get fun of the wife and husband team. <laughs> when come in and it came to pass in those days. <laughs> Hallelujah. And she was always running from position. <laughs> in order to God, but Bishop Gale and Reverend Tugman tied in a hey, tied in a toe. <laughs> One sick knocked and so she couldn't get away. So it came to pass in those days. And first of all, church, I must tell you that, amen, today my wife is being ordained and uh, I have uh, three daughters and the second one should give me problem. But because me and her body same month, I mean, when I was her age, I give the same problem she give in, I pray for her. But my, big, my bigger daughter called me today and said, you know who baptized today? <laughs> Amen. So one is being baptized, one is being ordained. It's a good deal. Bless the name of the Lord. She gave me trouble and I was telling my prayer group that I will go home and don't tell anybody. I will just go home and because she will hide from me. The last time I go home, she hides, man. She no come back till me come up here. <laughs> but I said this time I'm going to go down and I'm going to tire with my prayer shot. I will not stop to fear, but it looks like she hears me. I won't have to tell her now. I will teach you the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. It's the name. Amen. Terrian Daily Spencer. Life is a journey. It is like a book. Some chapters are happy. Some chapters are sad. But all are necessary for the full story. She was born on January 26, 1976 in Kingston, Jamaica. She belongs to a nu nuclear family. Father is a deacon. Her mother is an evangelist, a sibling of four. God's ministry started in her life at the age of six years, singing at the Community Church of God under the leadership of Reverend Michael Augustus Brown, and that was where I met her. Uh, she used to sing. She was so little and short that they had to put her on a chair when she's singing for rally and all those. Amen. So those who are sitting at the back could see her. That's how little she was. Yeah, when I get married to her, I should throw her, I could throw her up and catch her. Uh, but don't try now. <laughs> I will die you. <laughs> Turn around. Don't look at me until you go home. That's for later. You know, pay attention. So later years, she became Sunday school teacher, choir leader, and youth president. Every advice she was choir leader, you know? Yeah, she sing very well. When I used to preach, I always sing, and then I would go on and preach. But after that, she grew a big old. <laughs> so I, I have to sing and preach. I couldn't sing then, I can't sing now because I have to sing and preach. Glory to God. But she will sing again. All right. In 1995, she got married at 19 years old. So. I'm so mad. And that me. <laughs> to the right Reverend Rohan and Tony Barnard Spencer. <laughs> Glory to God, and we're still going and going and going. This August will make 28 years. Oh, yes, and we're still going. 29. Well, if one of you it, it was 1995, the 12th of August. It's 29. Forgive me, I get enough beaten for much, and now, now I don't love it. If you see me adding his on the calculator, oh. Yes, yeah, so it's 29, but we're not so far from 30. I'm getting, I'm getting there. Glory to God, hallelujah. So nine, between 1997 to 2004, she became a mother 
have three beautiful daughters, all courtesy of me. I said, look that way. I said, the bishop you're looking at. Between 2021 and 2024, the call to ministry is still evident in her life. Mission statement to help and encourage brothers and sisters along this pilgrim journey. Motto, only the best is good enough. Jesus charged us as his disciples to take his yoke upon us and learn of him, for his yoke is easy and his burden is light. God bless you. Thank you. devoted woman of God who gave her life to the Lord in 1995 under the leadership of Pastor O.C. Barton at the Mount Olive Fire Baptized Holiness Church of the America. She was an active member who occupied the post of an altar worker and a choir member. In 1997, the Lord chose her for elevation and she was ordained as a deaconess and served fervently in the post. She then got an opportunity to come to the Cayman Island, but her ministry did not stop. She continued on the field, but to feel for her Lord at the Christ Cathedral Global Ministry. She's an active member of different choirs and intercessor. She desired to go deeper in ministry, so she enrolled in Bible school and is now pursuing her dream of study, studying theology. She lived by the mantra of Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Evangelist Annette White, a devoted child of God, I have dedicated 35 years of my life towards serving the Lord and doing his work. Throughout her journey as a Christian, she has been ordained twice as an evangelist. She's undergone extensive training, participated in numerous seminars, and equipped her with the skills to take on various leadership roles in the church. Over the last two decades, she worked at, as youth supervisor, Sunday school teacher, ladies president. Now as she continues to deepen her focus on winning many souls for the Lord, she is eager to serve and encourage others to seek the kingdom of God. Accordingly, she considers it a great honor to utilize her leadership ability to bring more souls to God with the guide of the scripture, Philippians 2, verse three and four, that says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interest, but to each of you to the interest of others. Amen. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Protocol of Advert being observed. I stand here to read the profile of Sister Keisha Deepas Williams. Keisha Williams is the wife of Richard Williams and a mother of and a mother of four children and one grandchild. She accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior March in the year 2000. February 23rd, 2005, she was ordained as a minister under the leadership of Bishop Clive Reed of the Christ-like Ministries. In 2016, she transitioned to the Cayman Islands. She visited the church Christ Cathedral Global 
Christ Cathedral Community Worship Center, which was renamed Christ Cathedral Global Ministries, and from then became a member of the same under the leadership of Bishop Delroy Gale. She served as a member of the different choirs, a member of the praise team, a member of the intercessory group, and a member of the ladies board. March 8, 2021, she was again ordained as a minister under the leadership of Bishop Shanika Peck MacDonald at the House of Prayer Prophetic and Deliverance Ministry. On June 27, 2021, she became a licensed minister at Salvation and Faith Ministry School where she studied theology. Ms. Keisha Williams is currently a student at the Center of Theology and Leadership Training where she is continuing the study of theology. Ms. Keisha Williams lived by the scripture that states, I had fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalms 27 verse 13. Thank you. Sister Abigail Rose Williams. Mantra. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean on to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Proverbs 3, 5-6. Ava Williams is happily married to Bishop Orrett Williams and is the mother of five children. Two by birth, gained two through marriage, and one by verbal adoption. The first received Christ, she first received Christ at the tender age of 12, but returned to her own vomit two years later. <laughs> However, she recommitted her life to Christ on June 20, 2016. One month and 14 days after coming to the Cayman Islands, in March of 2017, she was baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. And since then, she has, decided, she has dedicated her entire being in service to the Lord in whatever way, shape, or form. Even through being very, sh even though being very shy at times, she has been in mentorship with Bishop Gale since recommitment and later addition of her husband and Pastor Rohan Spencer. These men of God helped to shape her into the believer she is today. Miss Williams has been operating in the post of a clerk, usher assistant youth secretary, a member of the different choirs, a servant on the hospitality team, and a member of the intercessory group. She was an active member of the ladies' department board for two years. In 2018, she was appointed vice president of the youth department at Christ Cathedral Community Worship Center, which was renamed Christ Cathedral Global Ministry. From the year 2020 to present, she has been operating in the post of youth president. She is a past student at the Prophetic Voice Institution where she obtained three diplomas. One in, de in Deaconet, this was received on May 31st, 2023. One in Disciplineship, this was received on April 28, 2023. One in ministry, this was received on July 6, 2023. She is currently a student at Online Bible College where she is pursuing a diploma in theology. On March 31, 2023, Sister Williams was ordained as a minister under the chosen and profitable ministry led by Bishop Orrit Williams, which is her husband. As her mantra states, trust in the Lord. 
She is trusting God to take her through this journey of life and use her as the vessel he created her to be. As she acknowledged that she is her only source, bless the Lord. Sister Andrea Lynch. Fully surrendered her life to the Lord on April 1993 at 10th Crusade while message the com while the message was preached, the coming of the Lord. Her drive for God excused in her being appointed as a junior intercessor among the senior intercessors team immediately. She worked in the children's school ministry. She served as youth group leader, assistant for all the island's youth leaders for a year and a half. She completed her professional Bible study and has a diploma in theology. Additionally, at the, at the role of assistant choir director for both the youth and adult choir. Then, matriculated to the director of the combined choir, which comprised of the youth and the adult choir. She became the director of the general mass choir and youth choir. She has been very involved in Sunday school for youths and children. She has also worked in another capacity as greater leader and praise leader. Dedicated to her faith, devoted in deep worship, which she calls her weapon. Lives the breath of, the breath of Christ, Andrea Maria Rodriguez Lynch chants on her favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Deaconess Veronica Vancey. <laughs> Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Peter 5 verse 6 states, Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. A scripture that I use to guide my pathway in Christ. I am a mother, a minister of the gospel, a chef, a motivator, and most importantly, a child of the King. I accepted the gracious gift of salvation on April 2010 and was called to serve in the Christ Cathedral Community Worship Center which is now formally known as Christ Cathedral Global Ministry for the past nine years. I serve as the head of the hospitality team. Years went by and I joined the church choir and walked upright in my calling. I am an intercessor who knows what it is to fight war. I am a part of the church board where I served in the church, in the church office. I am an armor bearer for Bishop Delroy Gale for years and serve many other ministers. 1 mm -hmm. Kings 17, 10 to 15 describes me as a Shunammite woman. I am married to one of the best husbands any woman could ask for, a mighty man of valor, humble and patient. My only desire is to fulfill God's call on my life and to lead and love the family I have been placed in charge of as Christ loved the church. My assignment is to, be yield, to, is to yield vessels used to pour into and the many lives of individuals across this world. I believe in the undiluted word of God and that all scriptures is ordered by God. Thank you. Amen. 
At this time, I am going to ask all the candidates to stand. These are our candidates, and at this time, I hand over to our bishop, Bishop Denroy Hill. Come on, put your hands together. Thank you very much. 